Well, hello muggies. Hey, welcome back to the circus. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a knife, second hand. But, this is one of the most polarizing knives I own. And we're going to see why here in a second. First, I want to give a big, big shout out to a few people. First of all, you know him, you love him. Double. And Nelly. <laughs> Try and find a spot where we don't have glare all over everything. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the JB and Nelly, I love you guys. This knife is part of a giveaway I won from JB one night, completely asleep. And just. And the other person I wanted to shout out was the person who donated this knife to JB. I know who this one happens to be from, and I want to take a moment to shout out not just him, although I do appreciate him commenting, being part of the lives and chats and everything. When he stops by my channel, I appreciate you very much. Andrew Hubbard, thank you. Thank you as one of the people who donates stuff to channels, large and small. Anybody out there who donates to us, Thank you. You make it so much easier for us to have so much fun on our channels. Donating a little bit of stuff here and there, a knife here, a hank, uh, a chunk of wood. Are you kidding me? I appreciate it all. And thank you, Andrew. You rock, man. Um, giving away a knife of this caliber uh, when I saw I mean I know I when as soon as I saw it I I loved it so uh, when I won it I was kind of uh, taken aback so uh, that you put this into another channel and let JB give it away take a look at it do all of that thank you brother um, so let's get on with it and that is to show you what it is we're taking a look at sorry JB and now I got to move you over so I can show packaging that se hardly seems like a fair trade but at some point I got to get to it yeah this is an Amari knives if you're not familiar with them they are particularly known for one model and that model is the field bro That's the stickler right there, the white G10 part. So, let me bust it out here while I put the, put the packaging away. Yeah, this, uh, see to me, this is a blank canvas. This is something waiting <laughs> to become something more, you know, go through a metamorphosis. Uh, to other people, this is uh, its highest form already. Um, I've already scrubbed out the handle, the grooves in this gorgeous white G10. Partial liners in there. You can see them on the back up here, but they do not come all the way down. Um, G10 that feels like porcelain. See that axis lock style system? Uh, they call it the LR lock, left right, because it works equally well from left side or right side. This knife is truly ambidextrous. You can see it has a spot there where this deep carry, fairly minimalist pocket clip will slide right into that slot and bolt down. So you're good to go. Yeah, all black stainless steel hardware all around the stormtrooper version whatever you want to call it it is absolutely beautiful so what do we got for you here come on play with me not that way giggity anyway uh you can see the amari knives logo there zero two three michael jordan in the house no um <laughs> vg10 on this side but yeah black coated vg10 blade 
white G10 handles, black stainless steel, black coated stainless steel hardware. This does run on bronze washer. I could have swore by as smooth as this is that it would be bearings. I have not taken them apart, but that's what Amari's field or uh, website says about the field bro. And I have no reason to doubt them. So here we go. This is made by a German company. Amare Knives is a German company. This knife is OEM'd out of China. Sorry, sorry, JB and Nelly. I'm gonna have to move you again. Keep trying to steal my focus. I love you guys. But um, yeah, so I know I probably lost some of you with the German company, Chinese OEM. But let me tell you, a very, very good execution I think I don't own a benchmade I've never um, carried a benchmade for any amount of time I've experienced it a couple times about the bug out um, but I don't uh, I don't have a super deep bench when it comes to my reference for access locks I have this knife and I have the Asher knife Sentry 2.0 uh, did not come purple and red. I did that. Sorry, not sorry. Anyway, um, this is my only other reference. And let me tell you, uh, I like this action more than that action. That's not to say there's anything wrong with it. It just has that kind of axis assist that starts to throw it out for you. So no matter which which mode you use to deploy this one. It, it kind of almost has a mind of its own. It runs a little bit more on autopilot. The timing's easier, stuff like that. This one you have, see? See how easy it was to catch that? There is a breaking point. And if you stop, let go of this axis lock before that knife is about there, actually it's a little further down, before that knife is about there, it freezes. Once you get to that point, you're fine, but you gotta break beyond there. So it seems like that's a large angle to catch yourself and get it to go like that. But like I said, it is, you get it down. The more you carry it, the more you get better at it. So um, this one just takes a little bit more practice than the Asher. Letting you know. They are both about the same price, too. So, um, would I buy this knife again? Would I buy this knife, period? Yes. Um, would I spend $100 for it? That's kind of the upper end of where I might go for it, and it would have to be something that really tripped my trigger like this colorway. Would I, like the, the pure black one, um, I would probably pay the $85 or so for it. Um, you might have a hard time getting me over 90 for something that looked as mundane and that I couldn't mod in any real way, um, short of going out and buying a bunch of aftermarket stuff. Whereas with this one, I can mod it as it is and make it me and come up with something that I think would be super cool. But, um, yes, I would buy it again. Uh, would I buy another Amare knife of a different model? Absolutely. Uh, so far, the quality of this, I haven't cracked it open yet, but the quality of this is such that... Uh, it feels like German engineer and it just flows really nicely like I say I'm kind of looking like a jack wagon because I don't have my timing down on it I haven't carried it in a couple days before making this but a very very cool knife since you've already seen it let's go ahead and throw the Asher Sentry out there And Spider Co Sage 5. Like I said, you got about a 3 and 3 16 inch blade, a little bit less than 3, cutting edge, probably like 2.95. Knowing most European countries, um, they want sub 3 inch knives, so um, all of these would work. <laughs> 
uh, because the Amari Field Bro has the longest blade of anything out here. Just a hair longer than the Asher, quite a bit longer than the Sage 5 lightweight here. But overall, all three in the same size class. Now, you want to talk about something that... Maybe slightly smaller, but things that kind of strike similar poses uh, in the pocket, very similar. Actually, the the bib is a little wider than these two guys, but uh, eat up about the same amount of real estate overall in your pocket. This one may be a little further out than most. Um, tell you what, let's replace it with something much larger. Something that most people have no problem with in their pocket that eats up quite a bit more real estate. That is Civivi Riffle. And then you want to talk about something in the same size class that eats up a whole bunch of room. And that is the Alien Knives MIDI DX2. And then last but not least, what would this one look like if it was part of A daily EDC rotation. So let's show you what that would look like. There we go. So this is what it would look like as a very monotone grayscale. I want to shoot this now in black and white. But Small folder, medium to large folder, small fixed blade, very classy carry, at least for me. As far as what I've got to throw in my pocket, this is pretty classy. I could get a little classier, but it wouldn't be monotone anymore if I wanted to go this route. And then you're a little mouse heavy, but still a good looking carry. So, what do you think? Tell me down below. That's what I got for you as far as this one goes, but... There will be another one along any day now. So, tell me what you think. Should I dye it? Should I leave it alone? What do you think? We'll see. But tell me down below. I may even put up a poll. <laughs> see what everybody thinks in the next live or something. Maybe next two lives I'll take a poll and see what the, the, the tally comes out to be. But this has been the Amari Field Bro. Thank you again to JB and Nelly at Big Red EDC for doing the giveaways and just all of the work you do for the community. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, Nelly, you guys rock. And Andrew and everyone else. Andrew, for this knife in particular, very cool knife, brother. Thank you very much. And everyone else in the community like you who donates seriously you guys really just make this even more fun and i can't appreciate you enough thank you very much thanks to you guys for watching listen to me babble about knives and gear and such and coming by those lives every thursday night at 6 30 p.m eastern standard time or eastern daylight time whatever it is we're on now i don't know i think i may still be asleep but We'll be there this coming Thursday and every Thursday after, unless I tell you differently. So until then, until I see you again, and I do hope I see you again, stay well, be kind, do good. That's it. This is Grumpy. And I'm out. Okay, let me get three things out of the way real quick. First one is Bev check. Night coffee. 
second thing, sharpness check. Probably about due for a new piece of paper. Now, mind you, this is second hand. I don't know what, if anything, has been done to this edge. Very nice looking edge. Um, I've got a horrible angle on this, but yeah. yeah, when I get the right angle, it seems to cut very smoothly. Um, yeah, I suck at this. <laughs>